try to put together a, a seven to eight play drive and, and end it with a touchdown. Well, they're going backwards there on the give to Maxwell. Malone, well. who was all over the place last week. From Elite Cunningham and Louisville. Play action, Cunningham. Pressured, hit from behind, and he goes down to 31. That's a huge sack for this Western Kentucky defense. This play, long developing play, play action rolling right. What they're trying to do is they're trying to throw a throwback to the tailback, and the defense doesn't bite on it. We have two defenders running downfield to take that wheel route away. Everything out of Stephen Duncan that they wanted today. But you've got to be able to help him with plays down the field. Conley on the read option. He's brought down for a loss, and that brings up fourth down D'Angelo Malone. A buck 15 to go now in the second quarter. Johnson against a four man rush. Malone backside pressure. Malone sack. Third of the season. For the junior from Atlanta, and the clock continues to tick down under a minute. Particularly for the Western Kentucky defense. Got to run the ball here, huh? Or not. Johnson to throw, steps up, hit in the backfield. Bailey got a piece. Malone gets all of them. Huge play. Johnston against a four-man rush. Pressured by Malone. Third sack, Malone. Western Kentucky has knocked off UAB to go to 2-0 in Conference USA. That's a good player. Old Dominion grinding some clock. Here Smarts gets pasted there. There he is, D'Angelo Malone. Welcome to the ball game. I expect something safe here. Stone Smart. Running for his life, gets away from the first wave, still running, and he gets hammered down. The ball comes loose, and it's on the ground, and it's picked up by the Hilltoppers. And the big fella is coming near side, 20, and he's going to find his way into the end zone. And here we go. From the far hash mark, moving right to left, Stone Smarts is back to throw. Pressured from the pocket, and he will go down at the 14-yard line. And guess who? D'Angelo Malone. Army is excellent in the red zone, as you can see, 17 for 20 on touchdowns. But they're running out of downs right now as Western Kentucky's defense has stiffened. And there is D'Angelo Malone in the backfield. And the same thing that hurt him on the big pass play helped him here. Too many defenders in the face of Hopkins. Trying to snap a three-game losing skid. Riddles under center. Play action, steps up in the pocket, and then he's dropped by D'Angelo Malone, the Conference USA leader in sacks, just gets up another one. Third and three for the 49ers. Man coverage. Reynolds again, down he goes. Second sack of the day for D'Angelo Malone. Quarterback, gotta get the ball out of your hands, buddy. Gotta get it out of your hands. Trust the protection, trust your line. No, no reason to, to, to bail. The Atlantic offense that got off to such a slow start. That's a little pitch to Antoine. Stutter steps, but he's brought down in the backfield by, guess who, D'Angelo Malone. That's his 17th tackle for loss this season. Nobody in the country has more. Wow, great individual effort by number 10 there. Exceptions here in the Southern Miss wide receiver. Not finished, but boy, they could use him tonight. Abraham under pressure again. He lost the football. Guess who picked up D'Angelo Malone? Did Malone have it enough to get it into the end zone? He lost the football through the end zone, which would actually be a touchback if it's a change of possession. Maybe uh, throwing the ball, but protecting your quarterback, not making sure he is, keeps his confidence going into the next season. He's in trouble, and down he goes. It's another sack for D'Angelo Malone, the most sacks in the Conference USA this year.